Have you ever had a candle that when you light it, the flame is high and the flame kind of goes around? Well, there's a problem there, and that's that your wick's too long. Or have you ever read on a candle that you bought that it's supposed to have a one quarter inch base or wick and you reach down into the jar of the candle and you trim it but it gets a little too short and so then your flame is so small it's hardly worth burning at all. You don't get the full fragrance and you don't get the light that you really love. Well, I'm here today to show you something that will solve that problem for you. It's called a wick trimmer. Now, there are a lot of these on the market, five or six of them to be exact. And what I want to show you is what makes one very special and what you're going to be looking for on it. First off, you want one that has a foot. Now, by a foot, I don't mean a size 13 anything. All I mean is a foot that measures one quarter of an inch. This one happens to have that. The other thing you want to have on it is a notch. And the notch will hold the wick still while you trim it. And then finally, you want to have a catch basin. This allows you to capture what is in the uh, debris tray uh, when you trim it off. And so whatever you've cut off from your wick trimmer or whatever you cut off we're using your wick trimmer will land in here and immediately you're going to know, hey, it's not falling into my candle and making it all dirty. Um, I always like to get one that has a... Um, uh, you know, stainless steel or a really strong material because you don't want one that's going to foul up or, or not last well for you. So this one is from is one we offer at Clean Cut. It's a, it's a wick trimmer with a quarter inch base, a trimmer and, and whatnot. So how does it work and why do you want it? Well, here's how it works. You simply place the base up against the candle and you trim off the excess. Now I'm going to do that for you in a second. But look at this. This is a brand new candle. We bought it at a local store, and uh, that is not a quarter of an inch, even though it says on the bottom that you're supposed to trim it to a quarter of an inch. Now, whenever you're going to trim one to a quarter of an inch, a candle like this or a jar candle like this, this kind of a size candle, you're going to get about 35 hours worth of usage out. If you trim the wick, you're going to add about three and a half to four and a half hours of time or life to this candle. That's a really nice investment. Also, you're going to reduce soot into your home by almost nine times. Trimming that wick will give you better fragrance, longer life, and less soot in your home. That's why you want to use a wick trimmer, and that's what a wick trimmer is for. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I think you're going to find that if you go to our site, www.bestcandlecare.com, you're going to really enjoy a lot of the videos that we have there for you. They're terrific, and pretty soon you'll be a candle care expert yourself.